So before I get right into this video, I'm going to apologize for sounding nasally. I'm a bit sick. Uh, but anyways, this is my first video in my travel series, and I'm really excited to kick off this travel series. And obviously, I'm not packing or anything yet because I have about a month until I go on my actual trip. Um, however, I still wanted to start my travel series so I can get get you all tips. Also, I'm really in love with travel, and I love talking about it. So these are my travel tips. Um, I've yet to find a good video on this, and I figured I could do something, um, that is actually helpful to people. Um, I've been traveling since I, before I was one, so, like, for every year. So, I, I've kind of got it down by now. Um, anyways, I'm just gonna get right into it. Yeah. So, my first very important tip is to put all of your liquids, gels, creams, aerosols into your checked baggage, um, in sort of a dur durable... Uh, material so you, they don't spill all over your clothing but put that all in your checked baggage so you don't have to r run the risk of getting something thrown away at security however if you're only traveling with a carry-on or you can't um, <coughs> excuse me or you're like me and you have to do your makeup in the morning so you need like foundation or something because you're on an overnight flight um, then make sure that everything is under 3.4 fluid ounces I don't know what it is for other countries um, 3.4 fluid ounces uh, and can all fit into one quart sized baggie. That's really important so you make sure you don't get anything taken away. That's important. So my next tip is one that's good if you're on like a short trip or you always are forgetting things on your vacations. Um, make down a list of everything you want to pack, like a little checkoff list that you can make on like Microsoft Word um, or just with a notepad. Um, and list all the things you want to pack and then check them off once you know that they're packed. Um, and you can do the same for when you're leaving the destination so you don't you don't forget anything really important such as like your phone charger um, or just like any of the little things. So the next tip is directed to girls specifically and makeup. Um, one, bring sample size products. You don't want to fill your bag with like a full size hard candy primer. Um, Sephora has tons of samples. Get samples from Sephora. Um, and like at Target, you can get the little baby size of stuff. Um, but don't bring like a full size bottle of perfume. That's just crazy. Or like a full size mascara if you can get a little baby one. Um, also, don't overpack your makeup. I will do the next tip will be on overpacking. But you don't need five different blushes. You need one blush, one eyeshadow, quad, etc. You need one of everything, not seven. Um, yeah, so I'm sorry if, if that sounds about harsh, but it's true. Uh, I always end up overpacking makeup wise, so I don't want you to make the same mistakes I did. So the next tip is don't overpack. It's really simple, but it's the hardest rule probably to follow, especially on like shoes um, and pajamas. That those are the areas I always overpack on. I will bring like seven pairs of shoes. That's an exaggeration of it, but still. Um, and I always will bring enough pajamas for the whole night. But um, you can reuse pajamas easily because you're not really getting them dirty. So yeah. So my next tip is you can be fashionable and comfortable at the airport. Do not load up on all your bracelets and high heels and jewelry and whatever. Uh, because it's kind of uncourteous to people waiting in the security line. Because there's always that one girl that takes forever. Jenna Marbles did a whole video on this. That's just my summary. Um, <coughs> but anyways, go for sweats and cute tops and comfortable shoes. Don't cram yourself with your skinniest jeans and high heels. It's just not fun um, for airplane rides. So the next tip is kind of a small tip on choosing the right bag for your your trip. Do not bring a huge bag if you're going on like a three day trip. It's kind of useless. Uh, I would just carry it on to the plane um, and put all your clothes in it anyways. Um, uh, I also would not bring a bag that's too big, and I would bring a roller bag so you don't have to carry a huge bag around <coughs> the airport because that's just not any fun, um, especially if you're traveling alone like I am. 
Um, I'm actually traveling with my school, but not with my parents, so there's no way I can get one of those cart things. So that's why I have to have, like, an actual rolling suitcase. Um, yeah, so those are my tips for that. One of my final tips is to always bring a change of clothes in your carry-on bag, whether you're on an overnight pay on an overnight plane and changing in the morning or not, just in case something happens to your checked bag. My next tip is to be courteous to the people surrounding you on the airplane. If they have their headphones in, don't bother them or don't talk to them. Um, parents, control your children. Nobody wants to be sat next to the screaming child. Um, it's not fun and it's all just common sense. You should know how to be nice to people by now. Um, and be courteous of others and respect their belongings and them. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching all my tips. I hope this was somewhat helpful. Uh, I tried to cover as much as I could in a short, the shortest amount of time that I could. So this video may be a little long and drag on, but I hope it's worth it. Uh, thank you guys for watching again, and bye.